Here are six signs that you're deficient in vitamin B12. I'm sorry for the construction sound, but I think you guys like the rooftop videos. That's why we're making them. The first one is numbness. If you feel like your legs, hands, or feet are like on pins and needles, that's the first sign for vitamin B12 shortage. Because lack of vitamin B12 can damage the protective layer that covers your nerves. Diseases like celiac disease or Crohn's disease or even any gut illness can make it harder for your body to absorb these vitamins. And also taking some heartburn medications. Okay, I had to get back to the studio because there are a lot of construction sound and birds and wind all over the place. The second one is feeling colder than everybody else in the same room. And that's because you don't have enough healthy red blood cells to move the oxygen throughout your body, which is also called anemia, which can leave you feeling colder than everyone else, especially in your feet and hands. I don't have my mic on. Oh no, I do have. Okay, my mic on. Okay, cool. The third thing is brain fog. It's not actually just brain fog because the lack of vitamin B12 can cause depression, confusion, memory problems, even dementia and it can sometimes affect your balance. So if you feel like you're having these symptoms, you should supplement with vitamin B12. The fourth thing is general weakness. Your muscles might feel tired or they lack strength. You might feel lightheaded or tired in general throughout your day. If you feel that, just go to your doctor and ask them about the source of deficiency. Like, what are you deficient in? Because it's not always vitamin B12. It might be. Go to your doctor and ask. They might ask you for blood work. Just go do it to see the main reason of your general weakness. The fifth thing is heart palpitations. This is when your heart just skips a beat or suddenly starts racing and you can feel it in your neck or in your throat. Do blood work to make sure that it's vitamin B12 or another reason. The sixth thing is mouth sores. You might get these ulcers in your gum or on your tongue. This can be a sign of vitamin B12 deficiency, anemia, or any other condition. These sores usually clear up on their own, but it helps to avoid ingredients that might be irritating or painful like vinegar citrus hot spices you can also take some over-the-counter medicines to help soothe pain now what are the reasons of vitamin b12 deficiency the first one is age as you get older your body might not absorb vitamin b12 easily if you don't treat it right away it can develop any of the previous symptoms that i mentioned before my light went off okay the second thing is weight surgery one of the most common weight loss operations is called the gastric bypass after the surgery food bypasses a part of your small intestine and stomach and this is where usually vitamin b12 breaks down into a usable form usually after this operation your doctor might consider giving you vitamin b12 supplements or even shots if you need and one of the most important reasons why you might have vitamin b12 deficiency is medications some drugs drop your vitamin b12 levels or make it harder for your body to absorb vitamin b12 from food and these medications can include chloramphenicol proton pump inhibitors like lansoprazole or deprazoles in general or omeprazole peptide ulcer meds like simetidine or famotidine and the most important one is metformin for diabetics and this is a medicine that usually girls use to lose weight and whenever they do they lose vitamin b12 with it so so it's important if you want to use vitamin b12 for weight loss or diabetes to ask your doctor if you need vitamin b12 with it do regular blood work and make sure that you're not getting deficient in vitamin b12 because it might lead to serious health problems and the last thing i want to talk about is a caution for pregnant vegetarians please tell your doctor that you're a vegetarian because vegetables don't usually have vitamin b12 you can either supplement with vitamin b12 or add fortified vegan food like fortified bread cereals and crackers vitamin b12 deficiency is rare because your body can store it for several years but if you're a vegetarian or vegan you will lack vitamin b12 after many years and if you're pregnant your baby will be sharing your vitamins and your minerals with you so if you're pregnant and vegetarian please ask your doctor to do blood work or to ask for blood work for you because if you like vitamin b12 your baby will lack vitamin b12 and infants who don't get enough b12 can have serious and permanent damage to their nerve cells to their brain cells so please take that seriously if you're doing it for religious reason if you can stop it just stop it immediately if you cannot stop it just ask for fortified foods do regular blood work and always always consult your doctor before taking any medication or any supplement because they know what's the best for your case if you like this video please hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already comment down below what you want to know about next and I'll see you in the next one.